showdown between Gilbert Burns and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime representative of American Top Team. You know how happy it would make Dan Lambert if Masvidal could finally break through and win a UFC championship. He's as close to that level as he's been in his UFC career. As he's ever been. He's finally on the cusp of earning what so many people have hoped for for him. But that doesn't happen by accident. The reason he's this close now is because of the commitment that he has made to mixed martial arts. The commitment that he has made to evolving his game, going up to 170 pounds, and also using everything that he has in order to get to where he wants to be. Before, there might have been distractions. Now, Jorge Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. Left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United yeah, States. Gave him, a, yeah, Juan, <laughs> gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed in the grappling game. He's able to use girls in judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves as we get there. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, DC's been all over this great nation. Fort the laser right on the equator. Tonight, though, we're in Rio de Janeiro. How's the flight, my man? You're holding up pretty well. It's rough. Flying to Rio de Janeiro, it's far from me. Coming to California, the moment I step through here, I know that I'm in for a great fight, and I'm also in for a great crowd. People that are very knowledgeable about the sport of mixed martial arts and very passionate. Ooh, what a punch. And he lands a big left hand there. Nice hook. He went high on that one. Oh, that is a killer jab there for Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Big picture might be the best boxer on this roster. I mean, he may just be the best boxer on this roster. 
Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And he's out. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Dorino gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Single collar tie now. Game Greg gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. He lands another punch to the head. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh! So a strong five minutes down. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Separation now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice punch, man. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Red. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. Oh, spinning back twist out of nowhere. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Fred Masvidal. And the accuracy rate, 36% for him against Jorge Masvidal. Right hand punch from the clinch. Ooh, what a punch. Burns gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Nice one-two there. Oh. Good right here. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh! oh. You didn't like that left hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got a
Well, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back to the feet. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. But that punch, no good. Right hand punch to clinch. How about those five minutes? All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he has a... Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with the big right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Burns has got full mount now. Well, back in the day, he was brawling in backyards in the 305 alongside Kimbo Slice. Now he's one of the biggest superstars in the UFC and showing that he's still got plenty of work to do. I mean, he's got plenty of work to do, and he has the swagger, a Miami swagger, that will allow him to capture the mind and the imagination of the entire world. Mosby, now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Got to be careful, armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. Now he falls back into the finishing position. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 30 seconds of the third round. For the winner by submission, Gilbert Durinho so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did 